7.16 a.m. and time for the penguin on top of your television set to explode. It's Quest. Ah, Martin Short in drag at the spa. <laughs> it's a ventriloquist phone. Start your day the Henry Mancini way. Ba -da -ba -da. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, make some stupid coffee. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A little messy there, don't you think? A little messy there. Yes. No, wait, I mean... No. Damn. This is coffee. The Coffee Brewing Institute, a subsidiary of the Federal Bread Toasting Agency. Starring Pam Greer. Vision Associates, fine films about beverages. Our story begins here. In fun, wacky coffee bean coffee. land. Its flavor caught in the closed fist of a bean. Freed then by the grinding mills in an endless Oh, cascade, thank you for freeing our flavor. a beverage that is consumed in the hundreds of millions of cupfuls each day. By Regis Philbin. In this beverage that has become so much a part of our lives, there is a background, a tradition a that reaches background. deeply into the culture of many lands. It's beginning under warm tropical sun. The care and attention to which it is treated during its journey from tree to... Yeah, look, I'm being real careful. Some of these workers will even be paid. Brazil! Mmm, fresh picked milk duds. The many processes it must undergo are all devoted to creating good coffee. For white people. With its secrets of aroma and body and taste, to which the talents of millions of men are devoted during their lifetime. <laughs> like these men here. To which tradition, rich in the lore of centuries and far away... And rich in Corinthian leather. ...sets its fine hand to bring these three elements into precise Get in there. Flavor. Get up my nose. Come on, come on. The tastes of fine coffee... Extend over a Dwight Eisenhower way. colors Easter eggs. But for each palette, there is a flavor that is just right. Mm -hmm. Around the world, they drink this beverage in its many exotic forms. Ah, Maxwell House International Coffees. A dream of Paris, expressed in Café au lait, a continental favorite. Half coffee and half hot milk. The French serve their coffee with a side of fruity accordion music. Canals of Venice and the romance of Cappuccino are overrated, like Cafe Ole, but topped with whipped cream and a sprinkle of grated orange peel. And sold at Starbucks for $8.99 an ounce. Pepperidge Farm remembers. The music of old Vienna in a cup. Viennese coffee, often spiced, but always with a drift of whipped cream. And a wad of spit for the American tourist. Mystery of Istanbul and the mm -hmm. Eastern lands in Turkish coffee. Foam hiding the rich sweet brew. Turkish coffee is smoked. The vigor of Latin American coffees, dark and zesty. Like Latin men. In tiny cups with plenty of sugar. More sugar! But always, it is coffee. Coffee. How then do we make the perfect cup of coffee to our taste? And by our, I mean my taste. Lies in a single word. Booze. Care. Oh. Three simple ingredients go into the brewing process. Water. Wind and fire. Oh, wait. Coffee. Time. Uh. Care will mm -hmm. produce a perfect result every time. Hmm. The you must choose, the but choose wisely. And there are as many varieties and types as taste will dictate. Yet, 
Each is intended to do the same thing in a different way. To get to you addicted to coffee. Perfection in a coffee cup. Jeez, this is like porno for Coleman Francis. To make a good cup of coffee, use lots of your soap. Coffee maker must be clean. As must clean your soul. From all remembrances of that last pot of coffee, ready to begin its work anew, fresh and really clean. Scrub your pot for at least four hours. Water. Into a hundred thousand pots an hour, water flows in the coffee making process. Water, life's building block. Too much or too little? I don't know. Boiled first or later? I, I don't know. Not at all. Ah, dude. For how long? <sighs> I don't know. And yet, there is only one correct way. The American way. Water, the first element, carefully measured, clean and cold. Well, Three sort of carefully of measured. measuring cup for each cup of coffee, then brought to a full boil. Not one of those inferior third world boils. Coffee. Ah, <laughs> delicious coffee brand coffee. And again, questions. What grind? Percolator? Drip? Or fine? How much? What's the point? Coffee. The second element. Coffee. The drug you drink. Your favorite blend. The proper grind for mm -hmm. your coffee maker. One level CBI measure per cup. Are you writing this down? This, yes. found in many homes, is the same as this. Take my word for it. Coffee Brewing Institute approved measure. Oh. So whether you use one or the other, the measurement will be the same, and it will be accurate. <laughs> Fake, but accurate. Okay. Boiling Water, the movie. The boiling water now passes over the coffee, and the brewing process begins. Small children should leave the room the at this point. is lowered. See? And, well, watch. Okay. The third element is time. Use only CBI-approved time. Accurately. The minutes counted. The flavor will emerge as the process continues. And continues the and taste continues. Of coffee heightens and increases until all that is good has been extracted. And discarded. The incomparable goodness of coffee has now been captured in a cup. And if you made it right, you it can dissolve a roofing nail in it. A body to go with its aroma and its taste. When prepared this way, it will be perfect mm -hmm. every time. Three magic ingredients. Water, fresh, and carefully measured. Again, sort of. Coffee. Oh. The proper grind. Coffee? Is that what we're talking about? Carefully measured. Right, coffee. Time. Salamander Mark Time and his anxious carefully android chuckle. A simple recipe for perfect coffee. Sa perfect coffee. Sending its glow into our lives around the clock. Righteous, blameless, infallible coffee. It helps us start the day with warmth and vigor. It helps us choke down these greasy 50s-style fried eggs. It is a pleasant spur to the morning's work. It helps Sue Grafton start work on Sia's for coffee. Provides the essential part of our pause at noon, indispensable during. It provides the president of Cornell with an ashtray that often forgets to stop. In the romance of evening, when young dreams glow softly, coffee, coffee breath ruins the mood. Is always a perfect companion, and after dinner, it is at home in any <laughs> setting. Doesn't cigarettes with your coffee? Is important. In the end, it remains mm. a simple thing. Easy to attain. Yes. Well made and well enjoyed. A good cup of good coffee. Triumph of the coffee!